Hey guys, this is Kate and this is my second or third, I think third project using the November Hip Kit Club kits. And this is one of those layouts that takes a turn. So you're going to see, there's going to be a second half of this video where I show you another layout that I made using most of the components from this layout. But I decided to go ahead and leave this in here just so you, because it's very similar. So you can see me making this layout and kind of the process I went, went through. Everything was great until I started adding um, ink at the end and then it just didn't work and I say in the second part of the video that I used a white background but obviously I used a craft background so I had completely forgotten because I made the layout and then I let it sit for a day to see if I was just being like overly critical and then I didn't really care for it and then I waited another day before I redid it so I just had forgotten what the background originally was looking at it now I really do like the craft background and I probably should have redone it on craft. I don't know why that I didn't. I don't think I'm going to change it again. So I'm just going to play some music for this part and then I will pick up talking again when I show you how the real layout looks. Okay guys, see you in a second. Hey guys, so you all have just watched a whole process video on a layout that looks somewhat similar to this. It was on a, <clears throat> excuse me, it was on a white background. It had a very similar configuration um, as far as the center stuff goes. The, the paper layers are still the same, the embellishment. I used this tag, I had it covered up, but I uncovered it. And then I just pulled the paper strips off and put them back on this one. The reason why I did this was because on the original layout, I had splattered some of these um, pigment 
eyes ink colors and I just I couldn't I did not like where they landed I love these these pigment inks they're awesome but I just didn't I couldn't I just didn't sit well with me how it turned out so I I did the layout I waited overnight to see if you know the next morning I liked it any better and it just wasn't working so I did a little bit of layout surgery and I pulled everything off and one of the things that I didn't care for was the white background so I changed to um this is watercolor paper it's um I got it at um like a craft store it's Canton watercolor paper it's 12 by 18 inches so I just cut six inches off one side and the reason why I use it a lot for backgrounds is because I love the color of it it's like a it's not super off-white and it's not very yellow, which is what I like in an off-white or cream paper. So I did that. I took the tag off of here and let just let this tag show and then I added this wood veneer tag and I used a little bit of this gray and white twine. Added a little wood veneer in the top corner, it says Joy. I moved, this was over here, I moved it over here. I added this flare button and then I changed the, I was, I had the title over here and I didn't care for that and it was too much writing I thought so I just added in the gray um, LE studio that, um, stickers it says Christmas 2012 now I didn't film myself doing this reconstruction so that's why I'm just talking to you in real time but I went ahead and, and put in the footage of the original layout because it's it's very similar the background really is mostly what changed and the fact that I had this card covered up luckily I was able to un I didn't use too much adhesive so I was able to uncover it and it didn't have any damage to it so this is my layout I'm really happy with it now I might add some journaling like along the top and then the bottom that was the other thing I didn't like about the layout I had added a bunch of silver journaling and it was really hard to read so I might add some I'm not sure where yet I might just leave it because it's just kind of a straightforward layout um I don't know. Sometimes I le I don't put journaling in and then I'll go back before I put it into an album and then journal on it. Um, other times I add it right away. So anyhow, this completes my layout with the November hip kits. I really am having fun working with, with these kits. I like them a lot. So make sure to check out the hip kit club and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.